That's pretty cool. Yeah. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today is Friday, October 14th. We are getting ready to head to the gym, uh, do some workout stuff, get some work stuff done, uh, have a fun day. So today we're not going to do any hyperfit training. We have a competition called Wild for a Cause coming up on the 29th, so in two weeks. So today we're going to practice some of the workouts that they've announced so far, get a feel for that, and then uh, see how those workouts are. So, so for those of you that watched the last vlog and remember the challenge that we're doing with this bag of spinach, we've maybe <laughs> eaten like a fourth of it, maybe maybe two maybe two fifths of the of the bag. But as you can tell, we still have, look at look at my hand in comparison to the bag. We still have a ton of spinach left to go through. I think we need to double down on our smoothies. So I might do one right now and then do one later tonight. Here we go. It definitely doesn't taste bad with protein and a little bit of fruit in it. Like, you barely taste spinach at all. So, I mean... It's definitely an easy way for you to get more vegetables in. But you can throw in obviously a lot more stuff like uh, beets, kale, carrots, cucumbers. this before we hit the
What time is it? It is. It is 2:41. What did you uh, think of those workouts? Uh, like type two. All right. So the two workouts we did were for the Irwindale. Irwindale CrossFit competition that is Water for a Cause on October 29th. Those are two of the three workouts. For the floater, we don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be some sled stuff, so we did a little bit of sleds in between those two workouts. But, um, yes! they were fun. Uh, I like the aspect of having a Metcon and a sh uh, immediate, sh or straight into a uh, max effort lift. That's pretty cool. Um, I think it might go into our, our realm of not necessarily being the fastest, but we're pretty well conditioned, and then not being the strongest, but we're also very strong. So, um, pretty stoked for the comp. What little cook doggies? Get a life, dude. All right, we're back at the apartment. We're making a DiGiorno pizza right now, but in the meantime, Roderick is making his smoothie, his spinach smoothie, because he hasn't made one yet for the day. But <laughs> we're, we're, we need to catch up on finishing all this spinach. We're really behind. Uh, so he's going to go ham on his smoothie right now. It's like seven handfuls of spinach. Like, look. It. look it doesn't move. It's, it's, it's condensed packed. in there. Where's the... Oh, look how thick that is. How much? Weigh the whole thing. How much water did you put in there? Like guesstimation, like half a cup, a cup. Like four ounces. It's probably so bitter. Oh dang! <laughs> Ugh. It's not that bad, but it doesn't taste like liquid. It tastes like, it's like foamy. Oh. Uh. I almost, I almost gagged on the first. So. <laughs> this is how much spinach we still have left, and we have to have it done before Sunday night. A lot of spinach on pizza. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to really. Did it. 